welcome down to the Devon Koi Pond on this beautiful Friday. Cracking day today. Had a really bad day yesterday, overcast and manky all day. But the temperatures this week have been really nice, really pleasant down here at the moment. 14 and a half degrees air, to air temperature. Pond's at over 10 degrees, I'll show you in a minute. Just going to do an empty out of the vortex. I haven't made the brushes out since I put them in, so I'm going to drain it down. Give it a bit of a flush out, clean all the brushes and put them back in while it's warm and I don't mind getting my hands a little bit wet. Hoping you all had a uh, cracking Christmas and a good new year. Doing a few bits down here on the pond today while it's nice. Pick a good, got to pick a good day these days, uh, this time of year to keep uh, your hands a little bit warm. I don't want to play around with the water, but uh, I want to have a look in the vortex and just see what uh, sort of cacks in the bottom. So I'll uh, take you over and uh, I'll... Uh, probably fast forward it a bit while I'm cleaning the uh, filter out but I'll show you what's um, hanging around in the bottom I haven't uh, flushed it for a week and uh, I haven't had the brushes out literally since I put them in so we'll uh, see what kind of rubbish is sitting around in the bottom so let's pop over and have a quick look at that oh, let's see the uh On temperature there, 10.2. And uh, here in the vortex, it's looking quite clean on top, but uh, I imagine there's a fair bit of crap in the bottom. So we'll uh, knock everything off a minute and uh, have a look and see what uh, it's like in there. Yeah, it's all back up and running again. I didn't purge it, uh, and it just wasn't worth it. There was that much dirt in the bottom, there can't have been uh, only that much dirt in it, there can't have been that much dirt in the pipe. Give it a purge next weekend. I got the two easy pods uh, to give a flush a minute, and then a bit of a water top up. But, uh, that's quite good. So 
be absolutely cracking day down here today. Lucky to have Fridays off. And uh, lucky that this is a good day. Part of the pleasures of being semi-retired. Doing a little bit of electrical uh, improvement on the solar system. I've uh, been testing it over Christmas. Uh, wasn't too well over Christmas, but uh, got a bit of testing done on it. We had a few bright days. And uh, at the moment, I've uh, most days, I've had my skimmer pump running off the solar power. Um, and it's handled that quite well through the days. I've been running it for five or six hours in the day, every day on it, um, just on a timer. So I just had one of these plugged in and uh, five hours a day I've been running the uh, skimmer off of the solar. It's been very successful. But the controller that it's running off and what it came with was a PWM controller, which is a pulse width modulation controller. And they're not the best things in the world. They're not that efficient. You're better off with one of these, which is a multi PowerPoint tracking controller. Now these are at least 20 to sort of 40% better. They'll get more power out of the system than one of these cheap ones. So I've got myself one of these and I'm gonna be wiring it in today into the system. And we'll see what uh, kind of improvement this makes. So I'll give you a quick look what it's doing at the moment and what I've got, uh, what it's been managing to run. And uh, then we'll uh, wire this one up and uh, stick it on and uh, see if it makes any difference. The sun might be out a bit brighter by then anyway, you never know. But on the charge wall here, you should be able to see that. I've uh, connected up a nice gauge underneath there. And uh, at the moment, uh, the panels are producing uh, 72 watts. Uh, 5.54, 5.53 amps. So I've got uh, five and a half amps coming in and 72 watts. The uh, battery's at about 13.1. Okay, now with the battery bank, you can let the batteries fall down to about 12.2, 12.3 volts. That's about 60%, uh, 70% of uh, their rating. If you let them fall any lower than that, you're damaging the batteries all the time and the amount of charges, recharges, they'll last, goes down. So I can let them go down. I can draw about oh, 80 to 90 amps off of these batteries. And then after that, I need to let them rest and recharge. But through the days, I've been managing to draw about 60 watts for five or six hours off of the panels, which is enough to run my skimmer pump for about five hours a day. And uh, I've had it set on a timer. Now I've uh, got the power going out. I can show you over here. Now, at the moment, I've just got it set up like this. So at the moment, I've got 60 watts going out. There's, my skimmer pump is actually running on 60 watts at the moment. So skimmer pumps are uh, running on free electric. But what I'm going to do is swap this uh, gubbins over here on the wall for the new charge controller. And uh, it should give me a little bit more. Charge the batteries a bit better and everything like that. So I'll get the new setup up on the wall and uh, then we'll uh, get back to it in a second. So, okay. We've now got all this uh, wired in. By the little meter down here, where batteries are at 13.3. I've got 7.6357 sort of amps coming in. So I've got a good 7.5 amps coming in and 101 watts. Let's see what this says. Yeah, 13.6, 13.5 volts. Not quite sure what all these mean on here. That's obviously the power coming in from the panel, 16, 17 volts. PV, 
don't know. Load. Battery temperature. Load type. 80 amps. Again, I don't know. That's what's coming in. So, at the moment coming in down here, I've got 104, 105 watts. Time I'm running that through the inverter here, say I'm losing a bit, probably making around 90 watts. I would have thought. And over here, outside on the pond at the moment, I'm running uh, one of my air pumps and the skimmer pump. So I'm drawing uh, 90, 89.5, 90 watts. So I'm drawing 90 watts at 240. And making 105 watts at 12 volts. So the batteries should, should be about equally charging the batteries for what they're losing or gaining a bit. I'll uh, leave it running now for the rest of the morning and see. So I've got to keep an eye on the batteries. I don't like the batteries to drop down below 12.2, 12.3 volts, which is using about uh, 60 to 70 percent of their capacity. If you let them fall below that, um, you'll lessen down the lifespan of the batteries. So I'll uh, run this uh, today, but it's at 13.5. I've also got. Uh, these two extra batteries here at the moment that are clamped onto the system because it's uh, been making so much power against what I've been using. I've uh, clamped two extra batteries onto it which gives me uh, another 70 amps. So really in theory I should be able to run for about 10 hours and take a hundred watts off this for 10 hours on the small battery bank and uh, add another six hours on with these two batteries if I pull a hundred watts off of it with no power going in I need to leave it going overnight one night and uh, see what it runs down to so that having these extra batteries clipped on it I can ensure that uh, I don't uh, use up too much and let the battery bank uh, drop down below 12.2 12.3 volts I'll uh, run this today and uh, see what happens. Summertime, I'm just hoping to be able to run an air pump on my bottom drain and maybe the UV uh, 24 hours a day off of the system with the batteries uh, keeping in front of it. If they start to fall behind, then uh, cloudy days and such like, you might not get enough power in to make up for what's going out. But hopefully I can kind of balance it uh, with an on-off timer um, on the UV light because I don't you don't really need that on all the time so I could put that on a timer so it just comes on for so many hours a day or whatever it's just going to be dependent on uh, how much the panels can actually make so uh, could be quite interesting it gives me something uh, really nice to play around with so we've got a little bit of a uh, thing here anybody that's more into the solar than me I'd like a switch box where it uh, would automatically switch over and uh, from the battery power to mains power if the batteries drop down I've got a friend of mine that's uh, very good on uh, electrics I think I'll have a word with him and see what he's got to say on the subject he might better rig me up something a little bit better because at the moment I'm just uh, swapping uh, power leads over the main power lead that came in from the pond was hardwired in in the uh, workshop here. I've had to put a plug on the end of that and I've uh, taken another feed wire out which is a temporary one. I need some armoured cable really to take another feed out which um, I'll use uh, for the uh, solar but also um, I need to sort out the earthing on this because uh, with the solar obviously you've got no earth system. So I need to sort out what I can do with the earth on here really as well for uh, I get uh, this all up and I'm really happy with it. But there, that's a little bit on the solar this week. So there'll be more updates to come. 
So a bit of happy ponding and uh, got a bit of stuff outside. We'll have a look at that if I haven't shown it before this. So catch you all soon. So there, that was a quick clean of the brushes out. They haven't been out since I put them in. I was expecting all sorts of rubbish in on the bottom, but uh, very clean. I've just been uh, sort of purging it, pushing the hose pipe in through the top and letting it out the bottom. Uh, and that, that's been it. I ain't taking the brushes out, but looking at it, I'd say there's probably no need to take them out through the winter. So I'm uh, quite chuffed with that. That's work to treat. And uh, save me running the extra pump on the answer filter. I've uh, finished re-screening the answer. So uh, next week I'll uh, probably just pop it back in. Um, I fancy running again with a thinner screen on, um, just to see how it um, happens. I've got a 70 micron screen on it. I'm going to run it like that, see what happens. It's not going to cost me anything to run it now because I'll be getting the electric back from the solar. So not a problem at all. But from down here in Devon this week, there's just been that little winter catch up. Hope you're all enjoying a bit of weather as well this weekend. And uh, you can get out and do a little bit on the pond. Spring's just around the corner. I've only got a few weeks now and you'll start to show signs. Nights will be pulling out, mornings will be pulling out. And we'll be back in there into another ponding season. So from now down here in Devon, happy ponding. Look after your water and the rest will take care of itself. Bye for now.